I've been a football agent for more than six years now. Even if with the previous experience around footballers, we easily get to 10. After I posted various videos on my FIFA agent exam, you asked me, Samuel, what does a FIFA agent do? Who do you represent? And how do I get into this industry? So welcome to a real day in the life of a FIFA agent. Hey guys, my name is Samuel. This is my YouTube channel, a space where I share the journey of an entrepreneur and football agent that moved from Italy to London, England to live his dream. Subscribe to be part of this incredible community. Disclaimer, I don't wake up every day at this time in the morning. Three times a week, yes. After many years of football and training, I had a knee operation and then COVID it. So I didn't do any sport for three years. I got to 92 kilos that for my body is way too much. So in September 2022, I went to the shop and bought the old Predators remake with the idea to play at least five a side as the 11 a side I used to play would have been a bit too much now. And I subscribed to my gym next door. It's been a game changer. So now I work out at least four times per week, every single week. I lost 12 kilos, but more importantly, I feel so well in the morning, mentally and physically. Workout done. That was a tough one, guys. Start the day. What a busy day we have. I get ready and then get Romeo ready and take him to nursery. I really love the nursery runs. So I've mentioned real day in the life of a FIFA agent because again, you know my battle online. I always kind of shared my life with a lot of transparency and talking about the, the real stuff and not just the fancy stuff. And that means two things. One, I don't go viral because I'm not showing Lambos, Dubai and stuff like that. But it means also that we're building a true community, community of real people, genuine people. So that's why today I'm going to take you into a real day of a FIFA agent. The menu is driving to the office. I normally go by a tube. We have an important call with a player's family around 2 p.m. And then at 3 p.m. we are leaving to go to Bristol for the FA Youth Cup. So I'm going to take you with me as always, to try to give you a little bit of behind the scenes of what I want to do in a day's work. Yeah, let's go. Let's drive through London and get to the Entourage office. So after a quick catch up with my colleagues, I met myself a tea. Normally I have breakfast on the tube, but coming by car today, I'm having breakfast at the office. I don't drink coffee. I know I'm a strange English Italian. I start the day catching up with some WhatsApp messages. I use WhatsApp a lot for work, so sometimes I'm just inundated with messages. Then emails, and then I start the day by checking scores and news on our players and the players we are targeting. Who are we watching here? Session with our match analyst, Gonzalo. I'll tell you more on his role later in the car. And then we watch the match we'll be going to see tonight. When I can, I always try to do this, as you can get to the match with a bit of knowledge and then either confirm or change the idea you have on a player. So what players do you represent? At Entourage Football, we have quite a different way of doing things as we work more as a team rather than as an individual. At the moment, I'm focusing my work on players like Gianmarco Di Biase at Juventus. I will talk to you about him in a different video. Samuel Dia at Lantz. Sergio Sulis and Roberto Pirodi that at the moment they are playing in Sardinia. And then, as you know, Entourage Sport has a very strong commercial department. You know, I love the personal brand and marketing department as well. So I do work closely with Guglielmo Vicario, Spurs goalkeeper and legends like Marco Materazzi together with my entourage sport colleagues. And with these legends, it's everything to do with PR, social media, brands that want to do collaborations with these guys. It's 12.30. Um, 
I don't know if you've seen it, but it's been a very, very busy day. We have a few players, we're working already on a few players that we will move next season. I'm going to be working on something for Vic, for Guillermo Vicario. As you know, we represent him commercially. A few deals I'm working for him. I have a call at 2.15 with a new potential player, a very interesting one. So I have to try to eat earlier because then we are leaving at three maximum. Bristol's quite far away. Lo metiamos. Ok, 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 adesso... Perfetto, perfetto. Sì, sì, ci sto finendo un meeting. Perché, perché poi devo partire. Adesso lo guardo, adesso lo guardo. I need to rush because I need to eat. A few calls went quite longer than expected. Then I had the call 2.15 and 3 we are leaving. Chicken and rice today, as usual at the entourage office. It's chicken and rice. What do you think, Sally, what I thought about where we went? In London, where did you go? Jake Ball and Mike Tyson are set <coughs> to fight on the 3rd of July the 20th. Yeah, but, I mean, that's enough. They're setting up for a fight. Oh my days. I was going to speak to you earlier today. I was wondering if you can send over a pack. When it comes to clips, I prefer to look at the like highlights on the ball and stuff. Send him what we have. Let's go, we've got a long journey ahead. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One of the things that I love about this job is the relationship that we build with our players. They're never just clients. You speak to them every week, sometimes even more, sometimes every day, and you help them in their journey on and off the field. That's why I always say I can only work with players that I really like and I really get on with. There will be a Q&A in one of the next videos, so make sure you comment below and you put your question in the comments if you have any, as you do send me loads of questions on Instagram and I want to do a Q&A replying to all your requests. What are we watching today? Swindon Bristol City. What can we expect? A proper semi-final, physical, everyone's gonna go and fight their way to get that ticket for the final. Uh, guys, Gonza is our internal match analysis. We're lucky to have him every day on board and he's the guy making the magic with the players. For any sort of match analysis guy out there, how can we do it? How can we get into the football game? First of all, he needs to not to get football. He need to love learning about football. Don't get closed on thinking there's only one way of playing. Be curious of learning different styles. How the best defenders defend, how the best attackers to attack. Why things happen in certain ways. Every opportunity that someone has to, to learn through courses, should, they should take it. Nice, nice. Bristol City v Swindon under 18s. From our point of view, hopefully we discover some new players. Hopefully we get the meeting in that we are here for. That's it. Let's go. Let's, Let's go, go and watch them. Arrived in Bristol. It's six fifteen. Kickoff is at seven. The stadium is just here. I'm hungry, Gonza. I need I food. <laughs> I need food. To think, we need food. Food. Are we getting food? We've got the team sheet here, always important, even if I like to use a digital one. First time at Bristol City's ground. Steak pie, steak pie. I guess every agent lives the match his own way. I really like taking notes on my iPad, so then they are automatically saved on my laptop and in the cloud. I can have a database of players I've watched and go back to it during the months, years in the future as well. So it's half time, one nil to Bristol. It's freezing out there, it's quite cold. A few interesting players. I've done the meeting with one of the players harder and got three hours to get back home, but I hope this gives a good picture. It's not all glamorous, uh, it's cold. <laughs>
Time to head back home. Two and a half hour drive back home. I should be home by midnight. But there has been one question that kept coming up in my DMs. How do you get into this industry? How do you become a football agent and work with footballers? Well, there is a dedicated video on my channel about this and I'll put the link here at the end of this video. But please, please remember, it's not an easy path. Don't do it for money or you will quit before making money because this job is more about long hours, many matches, a lot of patience, a lot of skills and contacts and parties, holidays, Ferraris, hospitality tickets and all of that. Late coffee. Gonza. Late coffee. If you do understand this and you still can't think about anything else you would love spending your life on, then this video linked here might help you. Thanks for coming to work with me, guys. Like, subscribe and comment. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. We go, Gonzaga!